Alright guys, BLM here, back with more Disco Elysium. Uh, I am watching the Gamescom event, opening night live. Uh, so, that's going on. Uh, I do also have my lunch cooking in the other room. <laughs> so hopefully it doesn't burn. Um, yeah, bizarre that it's St. Rose coming so soon, but whatever. Are we getting gameplay? But anyway, uh, we're also Let's continuing on this, so we're gonna talk to Joyce. My phone's almost dead though, which is annoying. Okay. No, it does look like Saints Row. Yeah, it's fine gameplay-wise. It just no, looks yeah, like it does look a like GTA. That's it. <laughs> and now it's time for another brand new game announcement. Ooh. I'm looking forward to that. Brand they said 40 relevant. games. That's a lot. That's like two like hours a long. Quite engaging story to go ahead. Oh shit. Oh no. Avengers. One of the tall buildings overlooking the roundabout. Most likely. That would give them a really good time to In any case, is there a need to make some of the things from beyond our stars? And I'm gonna start replaying Saints Row tonight. For the retrospection I'm gonna work on. Captain Marvel. Of the Strand. Wait, what is this? Is this Avengers or not? What is this? Wolverine. This is Ultimate Alliance 4? Watch this be a mobile game. Yeah, or a mobile game, could be. Oh. <laughs> Why are we having Enter Sandman? Ugh. It's gotta be like Ultimate Alliance 4 or like just a straight up mobile game. Sick trailer, no matter what the game is, this trailer is sick. They make some the good music to go along with it, to be fair. Half the job is getting a good, a good... Oh, is it the Marvel fighting game? I didn't think of that until now. Midnight Suns. Midnight Suns. 2K. No, it's not the fighting game. Interesting. The fighting game? Didn't, didn't we hear that Never Realms were on a Marvel fighting game? It is. It's a PS5, PS4. Man. Oh, XCOM. Okay, that's the XCOM game. Marvel game has been revealed and joining us now to tell us a bit more about Just Midnight Suns is Jake Sauls. So it's an RTS. Uh, hey Jake, uh, thank you so much for joining us here on O&L. Now we saw a lot of characters in that trailer from Marvel as well as some new faces. Who was that character being resurrected? How does that tie into this game? You have my gratitude. Thank you Jeff and we're very excited to uh, finally be able to talk now. about this. That Her character that you saw resurrected is the Hunter, and it's an entirely comic superhero that we designed Stop. with Marvel uh, to be fully customizable so the player can like put this, themselves the into Midnight Suns and leave all those you heroes you saw up That's against the ultimate they have evil a blood in our, on our universe, hands. which is Lilith, the mother the of the words. I love you made a new superhero. Now, many fans are familiar with your work on the XCOM franchise, so I'm curious, everyone wants to know what's your style? It's like a strategy type deal. Midnight Suns is a tactics part of the So you're not just fighting alongside all these legends of the world. Honestly, I'm fighting them a lot. But you're actually living alongside them. And the relationships that you have. Yeah, that seems interesting. I probably won't play it at launch or anything. Seems interesting, though. 
and we are really After excited to show game plan since episode first. Uh, with the game coming the out March 20th. I tried to convince my. All right, Absolutely I love we get not. to see more soon. These Jake, Mercury thank you so much for joining muscle, us today. Muscle, pure and simple. They're well, thank you, Jeff, for having us on opening our now. An Oranese military company. As far as I know, clearly, they wear armor, have semi-automatic weapons, and years now, of combat week, experience. Call of Duty Vanguard they also have trauma and stress of disorder. Perfect timing, Jeff. You read my mind. Oh, I'll be in the middle of it. Everyone enjoy. Wait, here's the thing. They're going to show it, right? Now it's time to get the first ever look at the Kamikaze Mission. Now it's time to get the first ever look at the campaign in action. The story is, one of them, the Colonel, is the first ever look at the campaign in action. Let's do that. We are joined by Dave Fritz and Sledgehammer. Here you go. Enjoy this. 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 Enjoy the game this allows Awards. some of the most militant union us. members we are to so subdue excited him. To get you to the real game he play. was taken but out first, behind Dave, the whirling uh, and rats and lynched uh, last Sunday night. Sledgehammer. Now you're going back to WW2. How hmm. is Vanguard different than what So it's got to be that blonde all, woman, right? Awesome Mr. Thank you so Mr. Much. Kerr refuses uh, to be able to like, harbor. I have not been able to discuss this matter with anyone there. The remaining two Cornell contractors carry out... What's Lord Bailey doing there? That's just bizarre. Um, it's a smoke screen. In secret, they are conducting an independent military tribunal into the lynching. Once this investigation is concluded, executions will follow. Investigation upon investigation. My only hope is that Lord provides a single concrete suspect before they indiscriminately execute stories. Some of the most interesting people that we know. You know, I'm going to check up on my food. Do it fast. Especially since it's a cult duty, so I don't give a shit about it. So. I'm an idiot. I turned it off way too early. I'll be back in a second. Food's done, the problem is it's way too fucking hot. But, um, Have you ever seen a so I'm gonna let it cool. It's not pretty. The Serenese giant hornet, the world's second largest insect. These men work in tandem using semi and fully automatic firearms. Their armor is virtually impenetrable to muzzle loaded weapons, even yours. So Most union workers don't have guns at The muzzle loaders need to be loaded after every one or two and shots. So, uh, what we're going to show today, which we're really excited to show, this is, this is gameplay. As I said, a blood sound. And we're going to show uh, Polina's story. Now, the, the Vanguard campaign starts. Alright, um. I'm sorry to confirm it. Too many things have already gone wrong. Nameless, badgeless, detective of the citizens. All we can do is keep the little from following suit. So we finally did that. Concrete suspect delivered into civil court, and I may be able to defuse the situation. Not much. Your public resume is relatively good as far as private military contractors go. I believe no they were nonsense. once called Dammers. They based a long act. list of clients, Saint Baptiste, Vegeman Lorenz, Eindrat, a warning sign, however. The operations concerned all take place in third or fourth world right countries. Guarding facilities, escort and, uh, missions, and such. Sadly, no. Right. Before this well, happened, happen I had right little here, interest in them. So now that I do, now, I don't have the resources. Jeff is such a good presenter. Like, he's actually a good presenter. Like, there aren't a lot of them in the games industry. Jeff is really good at what he does. To the point, he's actually engaging. He's natural. Like, there's a lot, there's a lot to it. If you still have access to the ICP's database, you could run a better background check than I ever could. 
It may take some time though. Cod and juicy. How is it, right, that cod, although they the always make the game look better, better, somehow it always looks the same. This looks like cod 4 to me. Like, genuinely, this looks like cod 4 to me. Multinational they all the game somehow they even though they look better, it always looks the same. Some could argue that's a good thing though. The international collaborative police maintain like, this is what Call of Duty 4 looked like in my head. Like, this is what I remember Perhaps Call of you should like. consult it. It was just a suggestion. I have. And they will. However, these orders take time to reach what is basically a rogue unit out in the field here. Yeah, Until operation. they do, it's all on us. She's a recent end of us. Or he didn't. This is information passed on to me from some teenagers loitering around the canal. I cannot testify by it. I like the blood. The remaining contractors. Their tribunal. It's what they believe. That the man was killed because he assaulted a local woman. I've asked around for this. This seems to be the accepted story. I'm not quite confident in this bag condition, but like it does look cool, doesn't it? Sucker for like wartime immersion. Last Sunday night, at the whirling in that, the hostel by the gates. Supposedly the colonel was drunk. Maybe on narcotics. Like I'm there, I'm not gonna play this. I can tell you for certain I'm not gonna play this. But either way, he's alleged to have sexually assaulted a woman. Sometime later, a group of dock workers got their hands on him. Sure, yeah, we can compliment, yeah, sure we can compliment the game itself. But I guess it's, to me, it's like if I compliment the game, and people are going to take my opinion as all the new cult looks good, and then maybe they'll buy it and actually think they get money in their pockets, like I was saying. Like, it's a different situation to Ubisoft, because Ubisoft publishes and develops their games, whereas obviously this is Sledgehammer Games made this, published by Activision. So it's a bit of a different situation. He wouldn't divulge his full name. Only one of them did. A bad sign if there ever was one. So like, yeah, clearly Sledgehammer have done like a nice job here. It's just a shame it's published by Activision. It's hard to say which. He had a combat injury on his lower jaw. It made it difficult to estimate his age or gauge his spatial expressions. I just want to say a big thank you to the devs, and I love the devs, and I would like to support the devs. If anyone wants a nice, uh, nice copper rub, I will drop you off before you, uh, so I just want to support the devs. Nice work for the devs. Well done, the devs. Now the big hands for the devs. I don't recommend seeking them out. For one, they're almost certainly armed with the teeth. They don't oh, have the same respect for the rebel citizens' military as I do. I said if anyone wants it, I said if anyone wants it. To be diplomatic, they think you're vigilantes, ghetto savages. It will not be a fruitful meeting. Confusing fucking, uh, uh, what's his name? You know the guy. When that happens, I'll be in a better position to mediate. One is obviously the scout leader at the harbour gates. The one chanting the idiotic slogans. He's barely maintaining his disguise. Austin Winbury. Hmm. The other is has him? a vantage point in a building south of the roundabout. They were keeping tabs on you while you were canvassing for the orange. It sounds like him. That may be so. I still hope you heed my advice. There's no need to pick the hornet's nest. The situation at the gates is a powder keg. She says she wants to avert the catastrophe, but that's where she wants to In any case, it's practically inaccessible. Nothing is inaccessible. I hope I can answer it better. Until the execution starts. I don't know, I don't think you did. Truthfully, I don't know. It depends on their progress identifying the members of the Lynch mob and their impatience. Not on this matter. I'm afraid they consider this a personal initiative. By the way, if you didn't 
no, this character it's we're seeing right now is actually the writer of the game's communist self-insert. Is that true? This Bear McCreary? Oh, really? Wait, why are we playing as a communist during what we do? Sure Actually, wait, what? No, no, no. News. If there is anything else I can help you with, do we play as, Do we get to play as a Nazi in this game? Communist is not the same as a Nazi. Let's let play as a Nazi, holy fuck. Okay. So we do have skill points. I don't know if I want to use them now. The communists were on our side? Wait, what the fuck? I thought we fought against communists. Oh, that was the Cold War, right? That yeah, you're a fucking idiot. Right? That was the Cold War, not World War II. <laughs> World War 2 we had, we had the enemies were like Germany and Japan. Oh, look, all I know is communists are bad, and the communists were the enemies are But they did fight against the Nazis, well obviously they did, because they're the complete opposite end of the spectrum to the Nazis, aren't they? Yeah. Because the Nazis are fascists. So this is a history lesson here for you. Uh, the Nazis are fascists, right? Um, if you didn't know. And the communists are the opposite of the fascists. So there you go. But I would like to play with the players and not love players. No, to be fair though, like, all jokes aside, do they not do that in a battlefield game when you're being played as the enemy? I feel like you can't do it with the nuts. I mean, that would be ballsy, though. Then you play as a Nazi soldier to see what it was like to be a Nazi soldier during World War II. Thanks to 
party boy. Oh, the music, the music! That's that's it, Halo 2 music, right? Theoretically. My answer is you fuck off. My dream is there is no Halo party. I run this goddamn scene. And here we go. Back to the usual. I know, I know. Fatty walks on all fours. He's so fucking fat. Yes, this is so good. good. What is this though? What's this little... What is a spot? Despite the music, the little man is quick on his feet. I got a date, right? This is that was such a classic Halo trailer. No. One of those TV spots you get for Halo Three or Halo Reach. Rumor date was right. Release date. Yeah. 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 Just as you promised. Well, I know you and the team have been working so hard so uh, to land this exciting you know, campaign and yeah. multiplayer. We'll both be coming this year because it's it's that kind of an important cool. year. So it's God. the 20th anniversary of Xbox and Halo, right? That's right. It's a big year. Oh, and, I love Xbox. Um, I love Halo. Oh. We might have something a little special up our sleeves. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, uh, shall we take a look? So why don't we? Let's do it. Something special? Hmm. Get ready. I really wish I was a bigger Halo fan, though. Oh, it's like a special controller or whatever. Oh, fuck. Like an exclusive console or whatever. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna buy it. Oh, I'm gonna buy it. Oh, God, I've already caved if I haven't seen it yet. They hired psycho scum. Oh, they sold me. They sold me on it, boys. That's it. The city. What do you think they've done? Oh, it's the one called Tunnel. I'm getting it. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. I bet that's like $150. It's mine. It's mine. What do you mean? Okay. Oh, it's so sick. Oh, my God. It's so cool. Yeah, definitely. Now, Jeff. It wouldn't be an anniversary celebration if we didn't do one more thing. 
No, they There's won't. More. Get out of here with you. Okay, uh, here's the last no thing, wonder I think. What else is <laughs> happening? Thanks, Thanks, look at this. Halo! It's been good so far. I mean, that's stuff that I'm not, like, super, super into. I'm pretty good. Probably gonna call it a night here in game I mean. Oh, it's an Xbox. Oh yeah, that's surprising. Oh, oh. I'm gonna buy it. I really should have changed the what? dimensions. That looks so good. Does it? Oh god, Xbox, what are you doing? They're draining me of my money. I want it. Okay, next up, it's time for another no! game announcement. In More a Halo! Adorable union between developer Massive Monster and Devolver Digital. This robot definitely getting the controller. controller. Definitely getting the in controller. A super cute and Look, I can trade in my console. World. I can just get that one. Here is the exclusive the reveal of... Yeah, I think it's time. ...of the lamp. The bed is still cold from the wind blowing in from the broken... Oh, I wish they'd have shown more campaign, man. Here we are again, my broken bot. Waves are coming. Okay. Coming your way. But you can't go. I'm just so balls deep in Halo. Halo is like the only thing we've given a boy that's still shit. Oh. I do not buy, like, those limited edition peripherals. Like, that's any shit. He buys all of that shit. I don't. But Halo, it's your they got me that. <laughs> Even through your sleep, you feel a big discomfort. I'm definitely getting the controller. I'm definitely, if I don't get the console, I'm definitely getting the controller. 100%. I'm already playing Halo Infinite. That master chief controller. I want to have that in my hand. Beyond their armor, in control of them as I wreck news in Halo. That's what I want. Oh, yeah, baby. Try your suffering as a masterpiece. What did they come out with? I'm the problem. No one's I'm the best at I'm so sorry. It's boring, buddy. Boring as dead. You're just stuck here. In the half world. Oh no, definitely a fan of my Could try looking the at other people. Really okay. But why would you want to start doing that? Oh, I thought Halo. How many promises have you kept lately? Sir Harry. To the great. See through. What do you think you're doing right now? Let it. But it never uh, seems to let you go, does it? Time uh, to rise and wipe and that tiny sweat. And that's about the Spartan Spartan project. And when, like, this, when the Spartan 3 <laughs> started being made, and like, how that all works. And, like, that is a really cool story, because you get to learn about what like, the Spartan is at the head of it. So that's cool. Big teams on opening night live, and also small teams, like... Oh, I hope London's a map. That'd this next sick. game was first previewed at Gamescom 2020, and now this single developer, a 30-year-old father in Poland, is back to show us an update on a really exciting hmm. game that caught my eye for its over-the-top oh, action. Shit. It is coming next year to consoles, PC, um, and Xbox. Excuse game me? Pass. Why are you not like right. flipping? Over the top, but it looks so Select the fucking this thing. Is Midnight Fight Express. Okay, what the fuck? It's not selecting the fucking thought bus. Like Halo, but like yeah, Halo, like Halo controller. Why does this sound like fucking cyberpunk? Oh, this does look good. I have seen this. Oh, it's actually so. Like with Game Pass as well, it means I can just fucking play this. Like, 
it comes out. I can fucking stream this. Oh, this looks so fun! I am a sucker for fluid animation. And this game has it. This is my car game. Oh, Agent Intercept. Yeah, I love that game too. This cool. Now where is... I played this. I think I'm gonna play this. Let me write it down actually on my list of games I'm gonna stream but then don't stream with it. Maybe, maybe. Um, yeah, one here. Uh, we'll do one more episode, I think. And then we'll call it a day. We're kind of like 